so hello people today we will understand like how we, we can make passwordless authentication between two vms so let's get into it and let's start so before that let me create two vm firstly okay so i'm choosing like this we can see like how we can do ssh and we can get into second vm without any password and all so let's let me create this vm configure let me um, give it to i'm giving it number of instances to okay add storage nothing is required okay okay so this is the one which should be enabled it is basically by default it will be enabled for your all linux server okay so let's review and launch so i'm choosing my one of the four key pair which i have created in some other project okay So I'm ready with both of the server. Let me name it. Let me rename oh, VM1. And this is your VM2. Okay. Okay, so let me SSH into this first VM. Okay. So before that, what I have to make you understand like from the first vm you are going to ssh to the vm2 so basically first you have to log into the second server which is vm2 let's copy this password okay i'm going with the ssh i'm using this is my key open okay accept you, my username is Ubuntu which you can see here itself okay so I am in this server okay so first what you have to do let me update my server let me be super user okay so I am super user let me update my system So this is getting updated let me come back to you once it's done okay so it's done now so what you have to do now for ssh please focus on that so you have to edit one file vi slash etc slash ssh slash sshd get it now get it into this and go slightly down okay so you can see the first is this permit login prohibit so just uncomment this and instead of this delete everything and type here yes okay after that go to the second one see this password authentication it is set to no just set to yes okay so both then now come out of this file save and quit okay so now second thing what you have to do after editing you have to start the sshd config so i'm going to start system ctl system ctl restart sshd okay so this part is done <coughs> now what i have to do i have to go to the first server so okay so i'm going to the first server now same the way okay this is my ssh okay this is my key let me change this color so that you will not be confused okay so i'm going to the bolt button okay okay accept i'm logging here i want to let's be sudo user so now 
what you have to do you have to generate the key ssh hyphen key chain okay enter 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 okay so your key is created you can see that is saved inside slash root this and your public key has been saved into this dot pub okay so now what you have to do you have to do such ssh copy id okay hyphen i and you have to provide the root okay okay so one more thing you have to do what you have to set because you can see here we are using a root here okay so first time if you will log in it will ask you for the password of the second vm so we have to uh, provide password of this root user in the second vm so let's get here so pass wd or double ot root i'm providing some password okay re-enter okay so this is done now now what you have to do you have to provide at the rate and provide the ip of the private ip of the second vm okay so yeah, i cut it enter so you can see here yes and this will ask your first time password provide your password of the second vm for the first time okay so you can see here number of keys added okay so now you can try by this ssh and this okay okay let me remove this otherwise it will ask some more value ssh okay so you can see here we are into the second vm 13218 that is the pa private password okay 30218 from which server from which server this this 58 to 218 so that's it for today thank you keep watching